So for those who are seeking absolute happiness or comfort in this dunya, you won't find it. And that's my first question to you. When most of us today, if I were just to try to make it interactive, people are seeking money. Why? It's not haram to seek money. And in fact, we want the whole ummah to be not only millionaires, but billion, but billionaires, inshallah. But why? Why are, why are the people seeking money? Can you tell me? To be happy, right? Can money buy happiness? That's the question. At some point of time, yes. So that makes sense, mashallah. So you can buy what? Car. A car. Okay. And that will make you happy. Yes. Right? When you are stuck in traffic and you are sitting there for hours. <laughs> are you happy? Yeah, we were in the car now. Okay. When, when the car gets out of order, are you happy? No. no. When you have a flat tire, are you happy? No. no. And some people get the car and they use it to, you know, for something to displease Allah. It's temporal happiness. Right? Okay. So people um, try to find, like, you know, to build a huge building, a mansion, right? What are they seeking? Happiness, right? Comfort. SubhanAllah, after a few years, you know, there are some cracks in the ceiling, you know? You know, the sewage system is not working properly, so we need maintenance, right? What else? What else people seek in this dunya? to make them happy. Children, mashallah. And of course, when the person gets the news, you have a girl, Allahu Akbar. She's very cute, mashallah. And you have a boy, Allahu Akbar. And then when they become teenagers, and they talk back, and they challenge you, they say, Allahu Akbar. <laughs> right? And it's, it's only the Muslims who always say, Alhamdulillah. Right? You meet the brother in the morning, he's like, no, how are you? He's going to say, Alhamdulillah, with a big smile, right? Because he was promoted you know, the night before. And then you meet him the following day, how are you? He's going to say, Alhamdulillah. <laughs> What's happening? It was just like my wife had a fight with me last night and she beat me up this morning. <laughs> so we we'll always say, Alhamdulillah, regardless of the situation that we are living, right? So people, subhanAllah, seek happiness even sometimes by helping others. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you lots of money, you help people who are in debt, you help people to get married, right? You help people to buy something, you know? And why do you do this? Because just by helping people and being charitable, it gives me some sense of fulfillment and it makes me happy. But the question is, and just be honest with me, is there something called perfect, complete, absolute happiness in this dunya? No. Mashallah.